basically there are three, um, I guess, columns to the bushfire management that we can do. One is prevention, and you do that simply by scanning terrain uh, to ascertain the fuel load. So you're looking at how much grass is there, how much dry timber. Uh, that can then be fed into models that can predict how a bushfire is going to spread. Uh, then the one that ANU particularly has been concentrating on is what they call storm chasing, which is uh, flying an area after a thunderstorm and looking for lightning strike locations where there might be a smoldering um, heat source that has not yet developed into a proper fire but will. Then the third column is, is the real-time situational awareness where we can fly over a fire front, uh, feed video to the people on the ground, the coordination centre, to actually help inform um, firefighting efforts, evacuation, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. We've had a, a company here in uh, in Perth fielding manned aviation fire incendiary devices for some time, which they use out of helicopters. But with the you know, increase of drones, in fact, they, they made a smaller unit which would go onto a bigger drone than, than normally that people use. So basically they run a magazine of you know, a couple of thousand in the helicopter and the helicopter unit is you know obviously much bigger and you have a person sitting there controlling the unit where the drone system is cut down um, anywhere up to sort of usually a maximum of a thousand pellets and the unit is operated by the pilot on the drone in operating the drone itself so all it is is a, um, it's a, a chemical and then it's injected with a catalyst into it and then the, then the pellet is dropped so it, it's not sort of live pellets on the unit it's injected and then as it drops to the ground it sits on the ground for about 30 seconds and then burn burn so it's got about a burn time for about a minute or so and then it starts the small the small fire Uh, doing it with um, crewed aircraft is uh, expensive and, and also like they can't fly at night in um, line of sight conditions etc. And so the drone, our aircraft is an obvious solution where we can go and scan, scan this large area, look for the heat source, flag it, send someone out to fix it. The least amount of people you've got operating in the fire zone, the, the safer it is. Basically a fire creates its own environment, uh, weather systems. You get a lot of updrafts and the manned aviation is offering it, operating at a low altitude, so you haven't to get out of trouble if there's if trouble creates. So if you've got non-manned aviation, you know you're not going to risk life. 